okay, you're saying that the science actually doesn't show us enough. Like the, the, the problem is worse than the scientists are saying. Well, that's really f bad. Maybe we should make some more videos about why people should be, be believing the science then. What are you talking about, lady? They're saying there's a problem and you're saying, well, no, there's not a problem. There's actually a bigger problem. <laughs> that's literally the message of the video. She's, she's, she's like, listen, I know that you think the bathroom is flooded, but that's not the case. Turns out the whole house is flooded. It's like, no, well, okay. But the takeaway isn't not to trust the person who said your bathroom's flooded. The takeaway is to say, D maybe you should go check on the bathroom and then find that your whole house is flooded. So we have a video called How I Lost Trust in Scientists by Sa Sabine Hosenfelder, who has 1.42 million subscribers. Now, I've never heard of this person. I feel like I've seen her before, though. As, a simple, as, as, po as simple as possible, but not any simpler, science and technology updates and summaries. No hype, no spin. It is Tuesday, bruv. Uh, no tiptoeing around inconvenient truths. Currently, a five videos a week. Early access for channel members. Uh, PhD in physics, author of the books Lost in Math, How Beauty Leaves. Okay, yeah, okay. Not a whole lot there. But uh, I'm interested in seeing how she lost trust in science because science is... I mean, we base everything off of science. So I just... Okay, like, if you lost trust in the scientific method, I would love to know your method for figuring shit out. Let's, let's see what's going on I here. don't trust science and I don't trust scientists. The... I've said it. Yes, it's taking me some courage because after you've watched this video, some of you call me a science denier. Probably. And maybe you're right, you know. I mean, you did literally say that you've lost trust in science. Maybe that's what I've become. I certainly deny any evidence against the benefits of coffee. Yes, make that triple. But seriously, I've good reasons to miss. She's terrible, but I have to guess the title is tongue in cheek. We'll see. What did she just say about coffee? the benefits of coffee. Yes, make that triple. But seriously, oh, so I've good reasons to mistrust science and scientists, and so do you. Okay. I mean, look at this stock image of a scientist. Would you trust that guy? I She's wouldn't. gaining our trust. Yes, that means you shouldn't trust me either, and you shouldn't trust climate scientists. No, I don't. And that's what I want to talk about today. Some of you have been following me since approximately the Mesozoic era, and you remember that I've been highly critical oh of research in the foundations of physics. I've literally written an entire book about it back then. Hold on. Are they trying to hide Mesozoic something? Mesozoic book about today. Some of you have been following me They're hiding the branding. Wait, they're hiding the branding in the top Mesozoic left. Look, look at her head. And you're look. highly critical of research they're hiding in the foundations brand. of physics. I literally... They're copyright infringing. I swear to God, that's what they're doing. They're literally like hiding a, a logo or some shit. That's so funny. Literally written an entire book about it. Back you didn't then, have to put that background. Books in the this is a stupid era. joke. Today, we do 10 minutes YouTube videos. So to make a long book short, most of what physicists do in the foundations of physics today is pseudoscience. It's what? paper production with no scientific merit that teaches us nothing about nature. It's mathematical fiction, multiverses, tales about the origin of the universe and you. invisible particles that no one ever finds. But that in and of itself, I it's don't believe you. No, it's there's some listen, there's all different manner of science. Like there are some people trying to find particles that we don't have proof for yet, but they're trying to find evidence because there are a lot of things in the universe that we don't understand yet, like how gravity works. I mean, I think we're starting to understand it, but like gravitons as, a, as like a particle have not been like completely proven, right? They literally found the Higgs boson. I don't know what that is. We literally predict those particles and find them. Yeah, that's science. See, you make a prediction you make a hypothesis and a prediction and then you do the science and if you can do the science and like you know substantiate your claim then you have a hypothesis you have a good hypothesis and if you can have substantiate that claim over and over and over again it eventually becomes a theory okay i think there's like one step in between there but like hypothesis is what you start with and a theory is what you end with and once you have a theory that basically just means it's scientific fact we've actually proven particles in the large hadron collider by making them yeah yeah we've done that with like uh like different atoms and shit, right like we had to insert different elements into the periodic table by making them ourselves 
but we did it. They're just unstable for one reason or another. Like that's the reason they're not naturally, but that's, it's literally called theoretical physics. But like, this is water, even so, like even ignoring all the theoretical stuff and like the, the particle stuff, you are literally leaving out like the fact that, that there's like different types of sciences. There's environmental science, there's biological science, there's chemistry. And science is not just the process of learning new things. It's how we have almost anything of value now, like uh, physically, you know, like medicine. What do you mean you don't trust science? What, you don't like medicine? Like, we, like without science, we don't have medicine. You have to trust the, the science in order to have medicine. What if you get cancer, you're not gonna go to the doctor? Is that what you're saying? You don't believe in like evolution? Like when you say you don't trust science, that's what you're saying. Problem. Wait, I'm serious, damn it. It happens every once she in a while a that some research area drifts off into pseudoscience. For example, the early studies on extrasensory perception, ESP for short, that's telepathy, telekinesis and so on, that was once proper science. It was a phenomenon worth investigating. I mean, who hasn't wished they could use one or yeah. the other magical force? Of course, scientists were on the case. But as time went on, it became clear that there was nothing to find and the people who were still working working on it were just pretending to do science with sloppy statistics. I disagree. No, the whole point is that if you want to keep doing the experiments, you can keep doing them. The whole point is that they haven't found anything yet. Like science, like I'm fine if there's like a group of scientists still working on finding ESP or like some semblance of it. I'm fine if there's like a small group of scientists doing that. I just don't care that much because like just because you haven't found it yet doesn't mean it's not out there. But like, you know, we've done a lot of tests on ESP and it's probably not out there. Uh, we don't have any scientific evidence that it is. And you can repeat the experiments. You should repeat these experiments now and then. You should. Because that's that's your proof right there. That's your uh, your evidence, I should say. So you should repeat the experiments. It's also in no way the same as undiscovered particles. Like, I don't know how she's going to relate this to the rest of the, uh, the scientific field either. But like, I just, I, I like, you, you can repeat the experiments. It's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal. Just, just do it again. <laughs> So pseudoscience. Pret Are we telling you tests on DSP? I don't. That's a sex joke. Tends to be science, show. but isn't. This happens because scientists not only make mistakes, they sometimes make new mistakes. And if that happens, the scientific method itself needs to develop to demark the new mistake what? as pseudoscience. What? The scientific method itself needs to. De what? Let me listen to that again. I'm not that smart, but let me listen to that again. They sometimes make new mistakes. And if that happens, the scientific method itself needs to develop to demark the new mistake as pseudoscience. She's just yapping now? Yeah, I don't understand this at all. What do you mean the scientific method itself needs to develop? The scientific method is, is, is just the, the method of, like, it's an overarching concept. It's the method of testing things. Like, modify it how? Unless she's talking about the method that you scientifically used, but the scientific method, like, is as a proper noun. Not really, but you're not too far off into being a sex thing. See, I knew it. You just correct the mistakes, yeah. ESP studies, for example, led to the development of better statistical methods, such as double-blind trials. Cool. The new mistake in physics was that phys- But that's not altering the scientific method. That's a new method of research. That's not altering the scientific method. You've just made the science, like, you, you've, you've made the process of reaching a conclusion, like, that's a better version of reaching the, a conclusion. It's not the only version, but it's a better one. Physicists came to believe that if you can write it in maths but and the scientific it's method remains the same. then it's scientific. Unfortunately, it's the other way around. If it's scientific, then it's falsifiable. Now, if you make that mistake, then suddenly all kinds of nonsense ideas become scientific. And that, in a nutshell, is what happened in the foundations of physics. But the Okay, it's not that something falsifiable is scientific. It's that if you want to consider it scientific, it has to be falsifiable. DSP, dark side fill, gotcha. Scientific method is how you make rocks in medicine. Rockets in medicine, yeah, exactly. Yeah, she needs to give some sources, I agree. The problem isn't that parts of physics drifted into pseudoscience per se, because this happens every once in a while in the natural evolution of the sciences. The problem is that it hasn't had any consequences. We've recognized oh. the problem with ESP studies, chucked them out of universities and updated statistical methods to prevent that from happening again. 
But physicists have been inventing unobservable things that no one ever finds for half a century and are still they're, happily they're doing hypotheses. it, believing it's proper science. And if they're you hypotheses that you can test. They're trying to explain things. What? Even I can even I can comprehend this right now. They're trying to explain things. Yeah, they toss an idea out. They're like, here's how we test it. And then they test it. And if it's bullshit, then they toss it out. What? That's the scientific method. DSP was a lol cow streamer that everyone hated that accidentally jerked off on stream. That's hilarious. That's why science has peer reviews on theories. Yeah. Yeah. Just because they toss it out doesn't make the whole process pointless and a waste. You can learn valuable things just because like failing an experiment, te like that's like a concept. That's literally like a cliche concept is that failing an experiment a thousand times gives you like, you know, that you, you, you learn a thousand things from failing a thousand times. And then you do it again, the thousand and one time, right? The thousand and first time and voila, you get Eureka, right? That's how science works. And sometimes you don't ever succeed because you're doing everything wrong. And that's fine. That's still science. It can happen in physics. It can happen in other disciplines. You're still learning. Too. That's why after I finished writing my book in 2016, I began to worry that climate change. Dark photons, multiverses, neutralinos, wimps, axions, string balls. Oh yeah, here we go. So we're getting into the climate change now because that's exactly like trying to find another multiverse. I finished writing my book in 2016. I began to worry that climate change was indeed a hoax. <laughs> now we're getting to the crux of it. <laughs> yes, this is why I believe that climate change is a hoax because we have not yet proven multiverse theory. Good job. I can't blame people for looking at the foundations of physics, concluding that much of it is obviously bullshit and then saying, well, see, you can't trust scientists. They're just making up climate change because are worried about the exact same. But they thing. have evidence. They have. A oh, yeah. Tinfoil hat. This is just her theory, guys. Don't worry. This is all just a joke. This is just a joke. Don't sue me for misinformation. Talked about this because I'm afraid that this will just give some people another justification to question science. But I've come to think that not talking about it just makes it worse. It makes it look worse. like we've got something to hide. If you mistrust scientists, you're not alone. A recent study by members of the strategic... Yeah, and they're all dipshits like you. They're all stupid. Okay, so just because more people distrust scientists means the scientists are wrong? Like, that's how you get back to caveman days. That's how you get back to, to bonking each other on the head with the, with the, with the stone. And not having fire to cook your, your, uh, your wild boar on. Like, wh what? I don't give a shit how many people distrust the science. I don't care. It's still the science. If there's evidence to back it up and I can look at the evidence and repeat the, the, uh, the experiments to a reasonable degree, then I'm gonna believe it. <laughs> Council of the U.S. American National Academy of Sciences found that about 80% of those polled say scientists are competent and trustworthy, but the remaining 20% doubt scientists' motives. Oh, well, then. They doubt that scientists will stick me. with science when it goes against the scientists' self-interest, like access to grants or other financial support. I think they- Okay, that's why peer review exists. They get outed almost instantly. I can name two off the top of my head. The one guy who did the Alpha Wolf study was ousted because people have repeated the experiments and they found all kinds of flaws with it. And it turns out that Alpha Wolves aren't a thing, right? Um, and then the other one was the, autis the autism study, which claimed that uh, vac certain vaccines were giving people autism. And that was bullshit. And the guy came out and admitted it was bullshit later on. But even if he didn't admit that, you can still repeat the study. That's the point of the study is you lay out every single step of the thing that you do and then you make it so that other people can do the same exact thing if they want to and you can test it it's called peer review peer reviewed research okay i'm a dipshit and i know this stuff all right like this is this is such drivel and she's trying so hard to sound smart too and i'm like a, a, a dumbass and i know this i'm pretty sure she's a gigacentrist who treats both sides equally that means that she's a conservative they have good reason for this doubt. Indeed, the pursuit of self-interests, mostly financial stability, is what's driving the problem in physics. It's- I wonder if we're going to talk about the problem with capitalism uh, coming up with bullshit data, right? Because sometimes it does take longer for things to be debunked, like the food pyramid. That took a while. But guess what is uh, not helping? Capitalism. So if you're not going to trust something, don't not trust science, don't trust capitalism baked into the current organization of the research system. The vast majority of- Like, think about, what if they had no financial incentive to fake things? Then they would just be doing science for science's sake. 
She has a video on capitalism, does she? Well, if she doesn't bring it up here, she's straight up just saying that I don't trust the science. Here, saving Hassenfelder. Capitalism is good, let me explain. Perfect. So, actually, even though we're mad at capitalism here, uh, we are going to uh, say that capitalism is actually a good thing and science is a bad thing. Capitalism good, science... <laughs> scientists i know are not doing research to get rich if you're interested in money you do something else like getting born rich but still they need some income to pay why do you like capitalism kids, kids right and this is why they have a strong incentive to inflate the relevance of their research to most of them this comes naturally you're mad because at they're capitalism about what they're doing but the scientific community still has no requirements whatsoever that scientists address their own own biases. They what? No, wait, that's so not even true. No, it's like in every single science paper, you have to address your biases. What? That's like a standard in science. If you don't do that, and you don't point out like the mistakes that you made in everything, you got to lay it all out on the table. And if you don't, then you don't have a trustworthy article. No, you have to address your biases. This is just a lie. She's just lying. Education, no training, no guidelines, nothing. That you expect scientists to generally exaggerate the relevance of their research isn't just a problem for the public perception. You are supposed it to disclose back that. into the community. You now have all these people telling each other constantly that what they do is super important and they come to believe it. It's a classic example of what's called and that's why social warming reinforcement. Is bad. Yeah, same spirit that keeps flat earthers going. And it's the same thing going that's on why global in climate warming, science? Sorry, not bad. Of that's course. why global warming is fake. Does that mean that climate change is a hoax? No, it's worse than that. What? I'm not a climate scientist, and I swear I have no aspirations to become one. But I've spent then a lot of up. time trying to understand the basics, read a lot of papers and textbooks, and attended seminars, and talked to climate scientists, etc. I'm not asking you to trust me or anyone, really. Okay, so we've gotten all the bullshit out of the way so that you won't get sued. Got it. You can't stand on your laurels. But Got I it. found no major reason for concern about climate science. Is Why?! You're stupid. See, see, this is the new line for conservatives. See, climate change is happening, but, but it's actually not a bad thing. Sci uh, Trump literally said that the other night in his uh, interview with Elon Musk, where he's like, oh, you right, uh, we'll have more beachfront property. It'll be good, right? Like, no, it's not that climate change isn't happening. It's that it's good, actually. It's fine. And Pog. Is the climate changing? Yes. Are we causing it? Yes. Every other option for what She's could be chill. causing climate change or the denier arguments that you've heard have long been ruled We're causing out. it and it's good. It's the sun, we're coming out of the little ice age, cosmic rays and so on. It's not like climate scientists ignored these possibilities. The deniers are just repeating stuff that was laid to rest decades ago. Yes, climate models have some problems, which I've talked about a few times before but their biggest problem seems to be that they underestimate the pace of warming and the uncertainty and this returns me to the social problem i found that climate scientists clearly do have social problems in their community but these problems present what? themselves totally differently than in the foundations of physics in the fun what does she mean they have social problems in their community clearly do have social problems in their community these problems represent present themselves totally differently than in the foundations of physics. I don't know what she means by that. What does she mean social problems? Is she calling them nerds? I don't know. Foundations of physics, scientists basically seem to have concluded that they don't need to care about what the public thinks. They'll get paid anyway. So now they just ignore all criticism. Yeah, and so the easiest thing to do isn't lie. It's to actually do the experiment. It's to just do it. <laughs> just do the experiment. Why would you lie about it? People can repeat it. Climate scientists, in contrast, are afraid of the public. The They're afraid of being hunted by activists on the left or the right. No, of the right, dude. Because the left actually believes in the f science and uh, how bad climate change is for the, for, the, for the world. Stop with this centrist bullshit. A mega centrist. Who said it? Somebody said it. She is like a mega centrist. I hate centrists so f 
much. They're disgusting. They're afraid of having their privacy being violated and of being quoted out Spineless. of context. They're afraid of being called alarmist. They're afraid of being harassed by climate deniers. They're afraid of being dragged into decades-long lawsuits because these things have happened and continue to happen. And honestly, I think that they're Thank afraid you, isn't entirely a bad thing because it makes their arguments much more careful and watertight. But it does create a problem. It introduces a bias in their arguments. They're afraid of being called alarmist and they're afraid of giving anyone reason to dis- Yeah, and you're part of the problem. You're literally part of what's making them scared. Because they're all trying to say, yeah, this is really dangerous. We should probably do something, guys. And you're sitting here saying, hmm, I don't know about all that. And then you're you're uh, yelling to all of your your psycho fan base with me that you're like this big brain centrist science guru with the, the mega mind uh, blowing out so much that your hair gets like that, right? And um, like you would convince your audience of this and then they take this and are like, oh, the scientists are actually lying. That's... That's a problem. <laughs> like, you're a disgusting piece of shit. Dismiss their conclusion, and that creates incentives to make the situation look less scary and to underestimate uncertainties. Basically, it's right that you shouldn't trust climate scientists, but the conclusion See? from that isn't what climate change deniers want it to be. It's not that climate change is a hoax, it's that it's almost certainly worse than the impression they raise. So whom can you trust? So wait, she's saying that climate change is actually a lot worse than what the climate scientists are saying? I'm confused. Didn't she just say earlier that it's not causing any harm to us? Yeah, she said, okay, maybe I'm missing something. She did say earlier that it's not causing us any harm, right? And at seminars and talk to clients or anyone really, but I found no major reason for concern about climate science. Is the climate changing? Yes. Are we causing it? Yes. Every other option for what could be causing climate change or the- Yeah, she said she caused, found no re major reason for concern. That was what I interpreted as hers. Did I interpret that wrong? She is saying that climate change is bad, right? Or isn't bad, right? Like we have no reason, either that or she's like, is she being clear? She's presenting both sides as though they hold equal merit. It's so weird. The situation look. The conclusion from that isn't what climate change deniers want it to be. No problem with the science. It's not that Maybe. climate change is a hoax. It's that it's almost certainly worse than the impression they raise. So whom can you trust? Trust no one. What you can trust for the most part is data, maths, and logic. At least on the physical sciences, and I count climate science as physics, it's incredibly rare for data to be wrong or fraudulent and for that to remain undiscovered. It happens, what? but it's rare. It's likewise rare that maths or statistical analysis is just wrong and for that not to be criticized or corrected. Indeed, the why is she purposefully sowing mistrust into the science if she's like, no, 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 it's actually worse, guys. The problem is worse than we thought it was. That's why you shouldn't trust the scientists on this. No, the point is that you go after conservatives and say, hey, you're probably scaring these dips if this is even happening, which I don't even know if I buy this. But you're probably scaring these dipshits into giving us data that's actually not as bad as what the reality is. You get mad at the conservatives. Bad faith, she's horrible. I don't understand her message. The problem in the foundations of physics is not that the data or maths is wrong, it's that they have no data and the maths isn't about anything in particular. And finally, there's logic. Logic is your friend. Trust arguments, not people. This video doesn't have- She got across- so, she said she found no- let me see some of the comments. I'm so confused by this. You should not blindly trust science, that's the point of science. Not questioning what science says is the most unscientific thing you could do at- Then repeat the experiment! You have to question it, like, with any kind of logic or reasoning. You don't just you don't just ask questions like you scratch your little chinny chin and think, mm, well, I have a big brain question, so I'm gonna ask it, and then not do anything about it, and then you just leave that hanging, and, 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 and wait for somebody else to answer the f question because you're too lazy to repeat the experiment. Like, you're supposed to repeat the experiment yourselves, that's what questioning the science means. If you question it, go out and do the science yourself. Go try it. Sometimes you literally can do that. It's not that hard. Trust arguments, not people. The best advice I've ever heard from a scientist. Ugh. People are more scared of being called a denier than an alarmist. Yeah. True. It is becoming difficult to demarcate where physics ends and fiction begins. She's just sowing mistrust in science. That's all she's doing. Like... That's that's all this video accomplished is just making people mistrust the science.
which is stupid. Why would you do that? Especially if you said that the problem is worse. I don't get it. There are social pressures making scientists not be as forthright as they should be. If they were, they'd be more alarmist about climate change. But the whole first half of the video is something, some heavy well poisoning. Yeah, it's just bizarre. I feel like you would really need to like pin her down rhetorically on this. You know what I mean? Like really make her say like, okay, you're saying that the science actually doesn't show us enough. Like the, the, the problem is worse than the scientists are saying. Well, that's really bad. Maybe we should make some more videos about why people should be, be believing the science then. What are you talking about, lady? They're saying there's a problem and you're saying, well, no, there's not a problem. There's actually a bigger problem. <laughs> that's literally the message of the video. She's, she's, she's like, listen, I know that you think the bathroom is flooded, but that's not the case. Turns out the whole house is flooded. It's like, no, well, okay. But the takeaway isn't not to trust the person who said your bathroom's flooded. The takeaway is to say, D maybe you should go check on the bathroom <laughs> and then find that your whole house is flooded. You know, like pay attention to them. They're telling you there's a problem. What? This is so stupid. What a backwards ass video. It doesn't make no sense. I swear to God. Centrist, man. Don't trust a centrist. Trust anybody before you trust a centrist. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you uh, enjoy my content, you enjoy what I do, I really appreciate any financial help that I can get. Go to youtube.com slash alecguntertv slash join. You got some awesome benefits such as seeing early videos, awesome emotes that you can use in the comments of YouTube videos, and a sweet badge next to your name. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really appreciate if you join. It is cheaper than the cost of a blowjob from your mom. So with all that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.